The recycling industry is going through a real crisis and it is threatening the very existence of some recycling programs in cities and towns across the country. Investigative reporter Morgan Lowe tells us why the business is upside down and what you can do about it. It is a weekly ritual here in the valley and across the country, setting the recycle bin out on the curb, doing our part to keep the environment green. But the future is anything but bright for the recycling business. The model's upside down today, it's broken. Pete Keller is the vice president of recycling and sustainability for Scottsdale-based Republic Services. He says the number one buyer of recyclable material in the world has stopped buying. Most of this material used to head to China. Those giant cargo ships that bring Chinese goods to the U.S. took plastic, metal and paper back to China. But that ended in March. Is this a crisis in this industry? It, it is. Uh, it, it, it's absolutely a crisis. Keller says the result is that there is literally no market for much of this material today. A year ago for maybe a ton of, of mixed paper uh, was trading at about $100 and today it's zero. High speed, high precision, probably gets 97, 98% of what it sees. Republic Services is not likely to go out of business. This is a Fortune 300 company. But smaller recyclers may not survive, and everyone might have to start paying more to recycle. But there are some things everyone can do to keep this business healthy. So this is inbound material uh, received uh, in our trucks. Keller says we're all putting too many things in the recycle bin that don't belong there. When you look here, what aggravates you? Well, you know, you can see this. This is a bag of a bag of something. Batteries, dirty pizza boxes, even diapers. It is expensive to weed out these contaminants. So a little extra effort at your home bin could make a big difference in the environment business. You know, at the end of the day, these are valuable resources, right? And, and if we're not recovering them and turning them back into new products, then it's going to require trees, it's going to require mining. It would be a real shame if, you know, if we can't continue to make these programs viable. Here are some examples of what you should and should not put into the recycle bin. Let's start with this. Do not bag the recyclables. Keep them loose in the bin. It's just too expensive and too much of a hassle to sort this out. This would end up in the landfill. What about a pizza box? It can be recycled if it's clean, but if it's like this one and has a grease stain in it, throw that in the trash. How about magazines and catalogs? Yes, absolutely. These are recyclable. Now let's look in here. How about these? Batteries do not go in the recycle bin. Neither do clothes. These wrappers for bottled water, these do not go in the recycle bin either, but absolutely clear plastic bottles and metal cans. Finally, how about those plastic or, or uh, paper plates? These, if they've got any kind of food on them, throw them in the trash, just like the grease stained pizza box. I'm Morgan Lowe for Arizona's Family.